Messiah. Shabbat shalom, listeners. Hallelujah. This is the day the most high has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And I'm so happy for this day. I'm super grateful. I hope that you are too. Did you have a good day, night? Or do you have big plans for the summer? Did you go shopping? Did you find those cool shoes? Did you find that shirt? Did you go on that, like, date and it was a good thing you know good good energy good i like good energy i love new energy hallelujah to that i mean how do we get to new energy well we get rid of whatever is draining uh our energy and whatever's draining it is super bad so not like the movie but like super bad so we want to get rid of that because we're all moving forward light and dark and balance uh to healing so nobody needs to be feeling bad about what they've done or what they did or whatever. Um, I mean, you can stay in that energy if you choose to. You're just going to go uh, to the outer darkness instead of being in the dark. You know, so there's that. We don't want to descend. We want to ascend. We don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Um, we already live that path. Um, and now we're here. So, yeah, um, let's keep it moving forward. Um, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you have some super good plans that not only benefit you and, and ground you, but grounds your community. Our community, um, well, you are your community. So the more work you do on yourself, the more that embellishment of a light code within you, because greater is the light that lives within you than he that lives in the world, it, it influences your environment. So I just... I don't want you to give up on yourselves. I want you to keep it moving. I want you to keep going. I want you to endure to the end. I want you to overcome. I want you to stay strong. I want you to stay focused, stay grounded, and smile. You know, there's a lot to smile about and be grateful for. So there's that. Hallelujah. All the praise to the Most High in the name of Yahweh I give my gratitude and thankfulness to the Ascendant Masters and my beautiful ancestors from Atlantis and Mitzrahim and Jerusalem and London and Italy and um, Ireland and all of that stuff and uh, Choctaw Indian, all of that, all of that. I bless all of them. I bless spirit. Hallelujah. And I am uh, grateful to be here and read these generational wealth books for you. Like our fathers, like in all the cool like super awesome energies are above us you know so yeah our father's feet are like right above our head um, so there's that anyway listeners we're going to jump into um matthew chapter 15 and i thank you so much for being here this is the promoter about his show and i just send you all off with an awesome day how about that i hope you have a awesome day starting i hope it's awesome throughout the day and then i hope you have an awesome uh transformation going into night and that's awesome and then the night is awesome and you know you get some awesome rest you know what i mean and stay in that energy hallelujah matthew chapter 15 then there came to yahweh scribes and pharisees from yahusha alam saying why do your tamadim transgression the tradition of the elders for they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. But he answering said to them, Why do you also transgress the command of Elohim because of your tradition? For Elohim has commanded, saying, Respect your father and your mother, and he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me has been dedicated, is certainly released from respecting his father or mother. So you have nullified the command of Elohim by your tradition. Hypocrites! Yeshayahu rightly nabu about you, saying, this people draw near to me with their mouth and respect me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as teachings the commands of men and calling the crowd near. He said to them, Hear and understand! Not that which goes into the mouth defiles the man, but that which comes out of the mouth. This 
defiles the man. Then his Talmudim came and said to him, Do you know the Pharisees stumbled when they heard this word? He answering said, Every plant which my father of the Shamaim has not planted shall be uprooted. Leave them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. The Kepha answered and said to him, Explain this parable to us. Yahweh said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not understand that whatever enters into the mouth goes into the stomach and is cast out in the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth comes from the heart. And these defile the man. For out of the heart come forth wicked reasonings, murders, adulteries, whorings, thefts, false witnesses, false witnessings, slanders. These defile the man. But to eat with unwashed hands, that does not defile the man. Yahweh went out from there and withdrew to the parts of Tesor and Tesedon. To see a woman of Canaan came from those borders and cried out to him, saying, Have compassion on me, O Adonai, Ben of Dawid. My daughter is badly demon possessed. But he did not answer her a word. And his Talmudim came and asked him, saying, Send her away, because she cries after us. And he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Yasserel. She came and was bowing to him, saying, Adonai, help me! He answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. But she said, Yes, Adonai, for even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Yahweh answering said to her, O oh, woman, your belief is great. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that hour. And moving from there, Yahweh came toward the Sea of Galil, and going up on the mountain, he was sitting there. And large crowds came to him, having with them those who were lame, blind, dumb, crippled, and many others. And they laid them down at the feet of Yahweh, and he healed them. So that the crowd marveled when they saw the dumb speaking, the crippled well, the lame walking, and the blind Sing! And they praised Elohim of Yasserel. Yeah, I wish I haven't called his Talmudim near said. I have compassion on the crowd because they have now continued with me three days and do not have whatever to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry lest they faint on the way. As Talmudim said to him, where are we to go to get enough bread in the desert to satisfy such a large crowd? And yeah, I wish I said to them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, seven and a few little fish. And he commanded the crowd to sit down on the ground and taking the seven loaves and the fish, giving thanks he broke them and gave to his Talmudim and the Talmudim to the crowd. And all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up what was left over of the broken pieces, seven large baskets filled. And those who ate were 4,000 men, besides women and children. Dismissing the crowd, he went into the boat 
and came to the borders of Magdala.